A few appearances at Ali Pali, and there's only that solitary victory. And that was actually in BDO World Championship, I should say. But he's been defeated by John Henderson, last year's World Championships, William O'Connor, Ronnie Baxter in the past. It's not been a happy hunting ground, the big stage for Kenterley. And it's going to be a tough task here. 95. Good player, though. Certainly one of the best to come out of the, the Nordic Baltic region. No Per Larsen, by the way. And the Dane, who's been around for such a long time, didn't take part in the qualifiers for the, the Nordic Dance Masters. We didn't see him at the World Cup of Dance either. Per Larsen, who's been a terrific servant to Danish darts. Yeah, Per Larsen, who withstood that nine darts from Terry Jenkins in the World Championship. 100. Looking like he's hung up the darts, Per Larsen. He may be back, who knows, but... Focus now on this man, Marco Kenterley. Um, well behind him, this leg. He does like to stack his darts. They land straight in the board and he's good visit. From the fin. This is good from Peter Wright. 12 down throw. Top remaining. And an emotional Peter Wright last week with John Henderson. Whilst, whilst we were impressed with Peter Wright, you can't help but be pleased for John Henderson. 60. Big title win, he's had a massive reception, and deservedly so. Well done, Hendo, if you're watching. Can be watching his teammate here, Peter Wright, and he's messing around here, Peter. So, champs here, camp to lay at one, two, three. Is it as easy as A, B, C? Well, he's giving himself a chance. Bullseye. Be a break as well. Oh, to be just drifting. Peter, you required to right, tidy up this leg. He's on the first leg. He's a right. Second leg, Marco. Two, yeah, two five darts. Game on. And then right. Wins the opening leg with throw. Yeah, what a fantastic weekend. It was for Scotland to win the World Cup for a second time, and uh, everybody, everybody in the world of darts was absolutely thrilled for big John Henderson, one of the, the nicest guys that you could ever wish to meet. Really humble, always has a smile on his face, and for him to, to win a big one, I think it me meant a lot to everybody in the sport, didn't it? Yeah, I think he's a lovely boy. John Henderson, and hopefully it can kickstart because a bit of a barren patch for Hendo, but he goes into the Grand Slam. Hopefully he gets the World Championship. It was Hendo who beat Marco Cantelli at the World Championship last year. Peter Wright. World Cup winner. World champion. World match play champ. Winner to play, Johnny Clayton, by the way. For the finals, Peter Wright, he missed the first two uh, World Series events ever staged back in 2013 in Dubai and Sydney. But has played every single World Series event since. 40th consecutive World Series appearance for Peter Wright. And that's a testament to how good Peter Wright is. Since that breakthrough World Championship, when he lost out to Michael Van Gerwen in, in 2013 in the final, he's been pretty much an ever-present in any sort of TV event, Peter Wright. 60, he goes Paul from strength to strength, 56. won the World Match Play, and let's be honest, he won it at a canter. No one got near him. I'm hoping to have success here in Denmark. 140. You've covered a lot more world match plays than me, Stu. Where would you rank that performance from Peter Wright? Because he was really dominant. Yeah, I think 
right up there, possibly with Phil Taylor's last ever year. And no one expected him. He came back at well, he came through the world match play as Peter Wright He's doubles his lead to 2 0. And his last year before retirement, uh, uh, Peter Wright win. beat the final, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, possibly Gary Anderson's run when he beat Manchester Sulevich in the in the greatest ever, but um, just dominant performance in a major in a week. It was likely to see from Peter Wright. And, the performance against Michael Van Gogh in 27 legs of darts yep. and his average is 110 and that's just phenomenal from Peter Wright and when he's in that mood no one gets near him he said he'd win the world match play 66. and he did and he did it easily and he's actually admitted after he said it in just to wind up some of his opponents but he backed it up looking to reclaim his world title and become the world number one 32. plenty more before that Yeah, Michael Van Gerwen to come. It'd be strange describing Van Gerwen as the world number three. 58. Yeah. As the world number two, we've already seen the world number one winning. Yeah, Michael Van Gerwen's prize money is just below a million pound on the ranking, and well, it's still quite a healthy balance. It's not what we associate with Michael. He needs to get that winning formula back more events to come this year plenty on ITV as well 60. with the World Series dance final European Championships players championship finals in Minehead the only title to Michael Van Gerwen's name in the last 12 months 60 Cantillo four World Championships nine appearances in the World Cup of Darts for Finland He just hasn't got those gears, has he, Stu? On that, I think he's only ever sort of played on the tour. He got a tour card a few years ago, but he's never really fully committed to the tour. And that's where you're going to get your experience, progress, get on the big stage of the European tours, and, and that's just lack from Contelli. And you kind of see that when he comes to these major events. And he made a Good fist against John Henderson in the world. He's two sets to nil down, got it back to two all. But just hasn't had that X factor really at the Worlds, and it's hampered his progress. And it's all too comfortable. For the world number two, Peter, right here. Three nilly leads now. I mentioned Peter Wright, record. Record-breaking 40th consecutive World Series appearance. Three wins, five times a runner-up in World Series events. Could love a title in Copenhagen. And the World Series is exactly what it says, taking the sport around the world. And Peter Wright is a great advert for the sport. It happened later on in his career. Great advert for never giving up, keep chipping away, and what a career Peter Wright has had, and it's not over yet. 81. Well, the PDC are hopeful, as it stands, that the World Series will be back in New York and Copenhagen and Australia and New Zealand in 2022, and they're continuing to 25. look at expanding the sport in the Far East in China and Japan in the future as well. Oh, and keen to, to keep the World Series bandwagon rolling along, expanding the sport. It's a massive part of the sport, opens up all different avenues and we want the next stars from these countries. 100. Big example, Damon Hetter won in the World Series and now is well and truly established on the main tour. Doing some wonderful things in the memory of Kyle Anderson the last few weeks. 
He made a great account of himself in that Australian shirt last week. Hetter lost out in the quarterfinals, but the performance by the Australian pair again. And this is all too comfortable for Peter Wright. You have to say, it really is that comfortable. Fifth leg, Peter Toothroy first. Game on. Next round opponent, as you mentioned earlier, is Johnny Clayton, the ferret, and he was very comfortable earlier. He won 6 0, and Peter Wright looking to do the same. 123. We expect Peter Wright to progress and Johnny Clayton already there and they'll both know it's going to be a lot trickier tomorrow. Only met a week ago actually, Johnny getting the better of Peter in the World Cup singles rubber but ultimately it was Scotland who progressed. Well, Peter Wright here just hasn't got out of second gear has he? Not needed to, can tell he's only dark to win a leg was at the bull. Yes. Feeding on scraps, you could say, but I can tell he'd be the first to meet. He's not been good enough here. His average in the high 70s, and you're not going to get anywhere with an average like that against Peter Wright. I suppose sometimes for the top, top players here at the World Series, it's if they desperately want to put on a show, but you know when it is that easy, as it has been so far for Peter Wright, not always the easiest 60. thing to do. Loves to entertain. Maybe the pressure of what can tell he was playing against, knowing that a below par performance would be punished, and it certainly is that. The average creeping up over 80 now. So 45, Maybe be good enough to beat Alan Warren a little, who knows, but certainly not good enough to beat Peter Wright. Who is strolling to the finishing line here. 65, Marco, you require 122. Maybe a, an outside shot here for Cantalope. Yep. Second dart to the ball in the match. Nine. Oh, was closer. The last one was in the 12. But you require 89. Peter Wright for the fifth consecutive leg, and he's got two at double 16. And Telly in the background. May make it a little awkward. Well, it does it. Peter Wright has five Peter legs on the spin now. and Ford and his opponent with two darts at a double, and they were both a stab at the ball. Peter Wright, one away from a quarter final with Johnny Clayton. Peter Wright doing what he's needed to do. A couple of 14 darters. Pick of the bunch so far. Tally will be disappointed. There's a chance for him to prove himself. And a real good go at Peter Wright. And Peter Wright, when he averages just below 92, represents an opportunity, Stu. We're talking about those ridiculous averages. The match play. He never even got near a 91. He was always north of 100. Well, Capsule's had five no, visits 96. to the board in each leg. He's had, you know, he's had the chances, he's had the darts, he's had the opportunity, but... Only seven 60. scores of 100 and above and one ton 40 plus. And that's the reason why Marco's only had a couple of darts at the ball. 
Well, can Cantelay get a leg on the board? Oh, Avoid the whitewash. He's given himself an opportunity. We'll have to finish. What can Wright do from 2 8 1? And he's not going to leave a finish, so can tell he. 60. Okay, you've got 6 to 1, 6 4. This would be. Is that that's the ball already? Stay there. And will. 96. Some more darts for a leg. And he'll be kicking himself into the ball again. Twenty-two. Go through I'll the motions. Just like Peter Wright. What a way from victory. Double four for Cantelay. Yeah, well and done. A little oh, live smile Cantelay. from the fin. Avoids the whitewash. Yeah, comfortable hold from Cantelli, but you feel it's just delaying the inevitable. Peter Wright. Oh, one to the one three one. Peter Wright, it's average dropping into around about 88, but you feel if he was putting Endy so, uh, under any sort of pressure, he would have responded. Hasn't needed to. 5 1, and strolling, you'd have to say, to a spot in the last eight. That's a better first start. Uh, good adjustment, Peter. Oh, Drop the dart, shuffles all to the left. Finds the 140. And even a maximum, a first of the match from Cantelli. Leave him a finish, but still leave him a lot to do in this leg. Just hasn't happened for him. Easy. Avoided the whitewash, but it's pretty much the only positive that Cantelli can take from what's been a dominant performance from Peter Wright. 65. Peter been nowhere near his best. But it's been more than good enough. Yeah, looking for the bull there to leave 100. Instead, he'll be looking at 125. Pressure from Cantelay. Cantelay did this in the World Cup last week. They were 4-0 down to Wales, and he was the standout player for a couple of legs. Got Finland back in touch, sort of 4-2. Okay, when the pressure's off, he just relaxes, but a little bit too late here. But he could prolong the match. He changed his mind then. He was looking up and went down. Jabs. Oh, underneath the wire, he unlucky did, for the match. And that and is the match. Peter Wright, the match. Peter Wright advances to the last day.